thing that's happening with kids under 12 is one of the most interesting because now Europe, our friends over in the UK, you can't give the vaccine to a kid under 12 in virtually any case. They've banned it essentially for kids under the age 12 and under. Meanwhile, over here, you can get kicked out of certain school districts if you don't give the vaccine to kids 12 and under. I mean, that's madness. And we haven't stopped to say, wait a minute, why are we doing that? What? Maybe our friends across the pond, they're not loons. These are first world countries. They're advanced when it comes to modern science. What do they know that we don't? And and even even on the vaccine, Jesse, you look at uh, the, the new vaccine, the new booster that's going to fight Omicron. Literally, it was tested on eight mice, eight, no humans, eight mice. And Fauci's talking about how this is going to be an annual must have in the same way we get annual vaccinations for things like flu or some people, some get the annual flu shot. And I guarantee you, many schools are going to say that's mandatory when it comes to covid. You take the thing that they tested on the mice, because guess what? You're you're our human testing group. Megan, I I think this is very difficult, honestly, for me to say, because it's difficult for it's difficult for me to accept. And it's very difficult for most Americans to accept that we are, in fact, in many, many, many ways, a much more corrupt nation than the European nations are now. And I'm not Mm -hmm. seeing the praises of European nations, but that is simply a fact. We have FDA guys on camera, high up FDA officials say admitting on camera undercover video admitting that they are bribed by the food and pharmaceutical companies to approve whatever they want approved. And at the same time, we have the FDA making this admission. The FDA was also publicly shooting down any alternative treatment that I know doctors were using, such as, and I'm not I'm not pushing these things, I don't know if they work or not, but doctor friends of mine were treating uh, uh, patients successfully with ivermectin, hydroxychloroquine. The FDA came out and crushed those and told everybody they had to take this thing from Pfizer or Moderna or Johnson Johnson, wherever you took it from. And now we have Americans who have rejected this, and they've especially rejected for their kids. I believe it's 2% of Americans. And yet it is still the official government position that kids should take this thing. It's time to wake up and realize that we have descended into a rotted form of gangster capitalism where the government works for the pharmaceutical companies and the pharmaceutical Mm -hmm. companies work for the government and they're not in this to help you. They're not in Mm -hmm. this to make you healthier. They're all in this to loot you for every dime you're worth. And I know that's very, very difficult to say because I love my country. I would die for my country. I know that's probably the same for most of your listeners. We have descended into something really, really gross here, Megan. And I think we should speak plainly about it. You're entitled to say that you actually fought for our country in Iraq uh, at a very dangerous time in our history, joined the military in 2000. Um, So, yeah, you're entitled to your opinion. And I agree. I've been feeling the same sort of sense of concern and sadness about who we are and what we're doing. And and, And this particular subject, you know, this COVID relationship, I don't know, is it a, what is it? Is it a triumvirate between like Fauci Uh, He's part of the medical industrial complex and um, the government and big pharma. I don't know, Um, but they're dangerous. And it's actually it actually is killing people. It really is. And and they silence people like RFK Jr. who try to stand up and say, whoa, let me call attention to how in bed they are with one another. Well, uh, Megan, 51 percent. That's the increase in teenage girl suicides as a result of lockdowns. Lockdowns came about as a result of a social distancing suggestion that we now know was made up. So let's follow this along. The elites created a six six foot social distancing requirement that led to schools closing that led to teenage girls killing themselves. We now have parents who will never again sit around the Christmas tree with their baby girls because they lost their mind during the lockdowns. And let's circle all the way back to what you just mentioned. All the people who did this, not one of them is in jail. I, uh, not one of them has been fired. Most of them have frankly been promoted or will live the rest of their lives in luxury. Now, if that's not some form of corrupt gangster capitalism that is entirely hostile to the nation, I don't know what it is. And please correct me if I'm wrong. No, it's an outrage. It, it's sad and it depresses me and, and no one will take responsibility and, and it's ongoing. I mean, now they take a look back at the pandemic and they're like, well, 
you know, social distancing was really rough on teens. Uh, they factor in other things which are real, like iPhone and the isolation that comes from that social media. But there's been absolutely no uh, attempt to take responsibility. The CDC's introspective look was totally off the mark. It didn't look at any of the actual problems at the CDC. They've just decided they're too professorial. They're too academic. They were writing too many papers and they need a better mouthpiece for the PR. No. If you're like me, you're growing more and more concerned about the future. The market is all over the place. My God, this week and inflation is at its highest level in 40 years. Interest rates are skyrocketing. Market experts not only predict a recession, they say we're already in one, uh, but they're using terms like economic hurricane and unprecedented. If you want to protect your future, call a precious metals dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio. That's smart with physical gold and silver. All it takes to get started is a short phone call and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or inside your IRA or 401k. Have you been looking at those crown jewels this week with the queen thinking, I wouldn't mind some of that gold. You can get it. You can get your own gold. And by the way, they keep this very simple for you. They've idiot proofed the whole process. This is the highest rated firm in the country with an A plus rating for the Better Business Bureau and thousands, thousands of satisfied clients. And by the way, as an exclusive offer for my fans, if you call them right now, they're also going to give you up to $1,500 of free silver and a free safe on qualifying orders. Don't wait. Call them now. 866-518-2955. That's 866-518-2955. Or text my name, Megan, spelled M-E-G-Y-N, to 65532. Okay? You call 866-518-2955 or text Megan to 65532. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.